we must deal firmly, decisively with corruption. We must. There is a lot of wastage. We must. There's wastage, there's pilgrimage, there's outright theft in the public space. And with a lot of impunity. We can put more resources into development. And I think we have now stabilized what we needed to stabilize. We will now confront the monster of corruption head on going forward. Whether it is in counties, whether it is in the national government, just imagine a simple audit of people working for government has revealed that we have 2,100 so far people with fake certificates working for government. And just a simple audit. And from this conference, Madam Chair, I hope we are going to add one more resolution on fake certificates. Those who have earned money using fake certificates should refund us our public money. Is indeed, is indeed equivalent to obtaining by false pretense or something? Yes. You know? And those who are in government offices today with fake certificates, they should leave. They should resign and go away and look for money to pay us public resources that they have earned falsely. And, and that chain continues. That chain continues. Good people, we just must do what we must do. And for your information, I intend to do it. Yes. And I am ready to take the consequences. I'm already Sakai, so there's no problem. I, if the country is going to get where we want it to go, I don't mind names. Yeah? I don't mind names. So long as we get the country where it should go. So, um, I don't know whether I've answered your question, but that is my position. I know we have set a target of 2028, Madam Chair, I think it's doable earlier. I think we can do it earlier. We can at least review it by one year, down by one year. We can do it by 2027. I think it's doable. Because we are burdening the next generation of Kenyans. And you know, speaking to the matter Moses uh, mentioned, that uh, one million of us who are working, we are taking away 1.1 trillion of the 2.2 trillion we collect. So one million of us. And you know the irony of this is that when we are asked, those of us who have the privilege to earn from the taxes of Kenyans, we are asked to contribute 1.5% so that other Kenyans can have a job, we have a big problem. Not forgetting that there are another 50 million Kenyans who earn nothing, as we earn something. And they pay taxes the way we do. <coughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Eric Omodi, upper president of Comedy Africa. Yo yo this is Kushman Pedi wa Magenge Mambo vipi watu wangu wa Nairobi na Kenya mzima Subscribe kwa story za nini 254 across all social media platforms Hapana kuchanganya Na wewe ndo dori subscribe right now Fina sahi Sa wewe fina